थैंक यू गुड आफ्टरनून माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर योगी एज ऑलरेडी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड आई एम थैंकफुल टू एग्रीकल्चर इन्फॉर्मेशन डॉट कॉम टू गिव अपॉर्चुनिटी टू हैव इंटरेक्शन विद यू टूडेज टॉपिक इज फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर एंड वर्किंग कैपिटल इन डेयरी फार्मिंग और इन गोशालास द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इज होम टू सिलेक्ट एज अ एडवाइजर बिकॉज the google university the whatsapp university the facebook university has created lot of chaos while working with live animals the professors on these universities that is what the universities i have mentioned they are creating 20% okay work but 80% whom nobody is accountable or responsible so the most important factor is today whom to select strength weakness opportunities threats who will analyze when you are starting a dairy farm so right selection of a person before arrival of the cows and after arrival of the cows at least for one year is your prime choice now what happens is that pre startup every industry knows pre startup then Uh, information technology no startup what is our capital expenditure what is our working capital so regarding pre startup what is happening is that uh, traditionally dairy farming is uh, from generations in india from generations uh, for father then father then son then his son and daughters they are doing it but what are the basic requirements regarding starting of a dairy farm or running of a dairy farm we will uh, discuss in shortly now start up if you are determined to have investment or bank loan or subsidy or investors then you are ready to start up the your dairy farm what about capital expenditure we will describe in short in future now working capital these are the limitations and there is no clarity about capex and working capital in india 70 to 80 percent dairy farms which I have visited from Delhi to Madurai, uh, they were confused as work as concept were not clear. So we will clear our concept today on this national platform of agricultureinformation. dot com. First important is why we want to start the dairy farm. What is our sort analysis? Strength, weakness, opportunities, threats regarding capital management. some states are giving subsidy uh, some are not giving some are giving uh, what you call seed money so capital management is very crucial important factor and which factors affect it so where to spend the money where not to spend the money we will discuss in short funds allocation many people come to me from last 32 years how to allocate the funds because if a bank gives you loan it gives for capex it gives it gives you for one time means they tell you that this is your fund but how to allocate it at what time what is capital against profit uh, some uh, people ask me for break even then stock management stock management particularly green fodder now we are facing problem in delhi our one of the customer stock management is most neglected part but it it could increase your profits or decrease your losses what are common mistakes done by dairy farmers we uh, what is our strength first analyze your strength that you have land power road technical knowledge in uh, interest to enter in the market what is weakness in india veterinary services are very uh, very less available and our extension is very less our research and development is very less as compared to western countries so this is our weakness one of my customer from uh, mysore he has to close the farm due to non availability of technical services so you analyze your weakness now what about opportunity yes even there is recession there is uh, this corona there is lockdown there is countdown but nobody uh, forgets or leaves and the taking of tea and tea requires milk so milk dairy dairy industry grows at the rate of 5 to 6% every year in spite of all corona lockdown anything 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 recession layoff technical layoff 
so you have the opportunity to work in a growing industry now threats if you are entering in the competition uh, then you have to be well alert about who are your competitors what is your market study what are your threats what are the schemes they are giving what um, this uh, facebook nowadays facebook is creating lot of competitions yes uh, a trend about this a2 milk has created a lot of demand for it this indian breeds but be aware that when you are for what amount in capex particularly purchasing of the animals you are paying for what type of animal what is its lactation yield what will be the future yield what are the parameters for purchasing the cows which you breed you are going to select for example uh, this uh, gear cows they are from 70000 to 150000 huge difference so trust any one person any good technocrat so that you can purchase good type of animals and lot of gambling is going on in purchasing uh, animals particularly this uh, some few one or two breeds they are their demand is such a created that there is lot of uh, adulteration in the supply what i mean to say is that a uh, lot of chances of uh, cheating so indigenous breeds are now particularly one to two breeds uh, don't take gambling in this uh, capital expenditure low budget effective farm models in 2018 one person has come to me i have shown him some farms and after 4 months he told me sir 10 lakhs of rupees i have spent on dairy farm now working capital is less so today i have selected this topic what how much wise you should be between capital expenditure and working capital so the farm models you are madurai madurai is very close to you madurai there is one farm uh, i am ha handling it from last 3 years hardly 1.5 lakhs rupees are required for the low uh, budget effective portable good light good ventilation farm model so unnecessary don't spend 5 lakhs and 10 lakhs and 20 lakhs and crores i have seen such a such a wastage of money is going on on this uh, farm models so don't uh, mm, don't empty your pocket on unnecessary civil construction of the farm models parameters of purchasing while you purchase the selection of the animals when they show you, you know, on facebook or uh, your whatsapp chat the cow may be um, some they are claiming 16 liters but when you go for purchasing they will say no 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 it is 12 liters or otherwise you paid 30000 rupees more so selection of the cow don't be hurry in selection because the thing if you show more demand then you will be emptying your pocket 90000 cow rupees cow you can get at 70000 if selected from proper source and proper time where to purchase which breed you want because there are hf cows in bangalore jersey cows in bangalore uh, in karnal there are buffaloes in delhi there are buffaloes in rajasthan there are uh, indian breed cows the most important is when you have final selection of the animal many times during the transport care documents are less and you have to unnecessary have a st um, mental stress financial stress while purchasing the animals so those cow uh, purchase during the purchasing of the cows don't go on the figure which they are showing to you go on the figures which are hidden because if the transporter don't have the um, animal care permit animal transport permit unnecessary you have to spend 10000 20000 for the police uh, inquiries and some another things uh, today is the world of twitter and facebook and youtube even my youtube from 2015 they are seen by 23 hours 44 youtubes they are seen by 4 lakhs plus animals uh, plus uh, cow owner animal owners so you have to be when you are entering the market your social media aggressive marketing should be so strong but you should have budget for that budgeting we will go in budgeting yes 
now you have decided in startup phase that yes i should have i am preparing milk i should have i will bring cows and everything but when it comes to marketing 23 february 2022 at uh, 1543 hours in indore i have seen this marketing van excellent van because uh, in capex nobody calculates the van mobile van because you have a good quality dishwasher in your for your kitchen you have finai you have ganpati bappa you have uh, vermi compost anything you have for example i am showing you sorry you have n number of 25 products from cow dung and urine but unless it is sold at the doorstep of your colonies or uh, township or cooperative housing society it is no value in keeping them dusting in your farm so mobile van such type of mobile van you should have in your budget it should be in your capital and it will help you in your marketing right now working capital in non recurring that is capex we have thought of uh, low cost uh, shed construction capital uh, expenditure includes purchasing of animal how to avoid the uh, gambling then these two factors we have covered now regarding working capital feed is the most costly item because uh, yesterday um, from madhya pradesh the uh, gram means uh, tuwar dal uh, chilka or chana or straw it is in delhi it is more expensive if it is in madhya pradesh it is very, very it is cheaper than delhi so you have to be very 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 costly about working capital and that to on feed what is the costly item red contract you are um, preparing your own feed so what is your own feed that is uh, maize mostly in india it should be 3 rupees per kg production cost but when when you are purchasing from uh, market the silage you are giving 7 rupees so your profit loss ratio for whole the year financial health of the project it is disturbed by half so lease land can help you in case of own production of the uh, greens or uh, dry regarding cattle feed cattle feed is prepared by the companies and they have they are more conscious of their pro profit then cake industry groundnut cake soybean cake sunflower cake safflower cake all these cakes are coming in the market and given to the animals but nobody checks means uh, i am over confident Uh, as per my thirty-two years experience, no farmer, very few farmers, check for the quality of cattle feed or the cakes. So, if you lose the protein or fat, what happened yesterday? Uh, we have taken one farm in Delhi, so they are having fourteen percent protein, one four, and this fourteen percent protein consuming the animals, they are giving very less milk. So monthly, a loss of thirty thousand rupees. i have checked it at pune in a cattle feed lab so regular checking of your cattle feed and cakes it will give you parameters about your productivity and profitability of your farm so keep in working capital keep in budget for yearly thrice or four times checking of your cattle feed checking of grain fodder checking of dry fodder and checking of cakes now salary in uh, it is very means uh, sorry to say we remember the salary of the staff the blood relative the manager the supervisor the labor the accidents or staff to the injuries but our owners of the uh, dairy farming they don't add their own salaries why i don't understand but you should keep your own salary in the uh, your budget in working capital sometimes it happens that while traveling the cows uh, when you are bringing from out of the state and they are traveling from uh, 24 hours 36 hours they are traveling in the ghat they are traveling um, continuously so there may be sudden death of the cows during transport many times the death of the calf it has happened and when you have spent 90000 rupees for a cow suddenly the cow the calf dies during traveling and you will you get nothing single rupee you don't get so you are losing 90000 rupees 60000 rupees in your recurring machinery 
the water uh, source many there are many water source that is tube wells if you have a tube well what are its uh, problems uh, in hindi mein main bolta hu motor jal gayi submersible water jo motors rehte so we don't keep it in budget so you keep it in working uh, capital that is recurring you will have to face problems of uh, water source then tractor tractor equipments then milking equ equipments years to years the milking machineries are uh, used but they are their spare parts are not calculated in the budget and you are losing uh, 1 liter per day that is 60 rupees 1800 rupees per month for per cow so working capital what are factors affecting working capital you should have these matters in your budget then transport vehicles logistics is becoming a crucial issue while transporting your milk and milk products because in bangalore when you talk from mysore side or where if you have a farm at chennai side if you have farm at coimbatore side so the um, wear and tear of the vehicles it should be taken into budget otherwise what happens is that you have customers standing in front of you but the vehicle uh, breakdown creates lot of problems for you then the most neglected part is testing testing of the blood testing of stool testing of urine feed cattle feed already we have discussed milk and milk products so this testing this should be in the budget which budget working capital and if you can take care of all these things you will uh, reduce your uh, physical stress mental stress financial stress how financial stress because if you check the milk or uh, for antibiotic sensitivity test then you will save 200 liters of milk per cow per year for example in hyderabad the milk is 70 rupees liter so you will be saving 14000 rupees per cow per year in hyderabad right so testing scheduled testing it should have a calendar and you should have budget for work, uh, working capital in india what i have seen cows are brought there is 20 to 40% gambling in the cow purchasing secondly the pregnancy problem repeat breeding mastitis we will not discuss now but uh, some breeds are attracting these problems thirdly while your working capital if we don't calculate the testings then we suffer from financial losses now uh, sheds during construction of the shed what i have told you is that lot of amount is spent on this uh, construction of the shed so shed should be portable it should have good ventilation it should have good light and see in the left corner my left corner there are uh, portable uh, this uh, water troughs a means a uh, 10 year student uh, boy he he is able to lift the uh, portable water trough the feeding height feeding height of the animal uh, of the trough should be such that it should be alignment with the neck of the animal this is the right farm right side farm which you are looking at madurai this farm is only constructed in 1.5 lakhs it is the best example in my 32 years after israel that such a beautiful farm with no problems of uh, with less problems of labors cement sand civil construction and time spent on it this is the best of the best shed uh, even you can pick up that cement pipes and uh, in winter and summer season you can put it outside so please focus on capital expenditure purchasing of the animal and second is shed construction because these are the main factors which are making loss to you then budgeting while when you are in a cap capex stage you should have budget when you are in working uh, capital stage what are factors account should be closed on the same day on the same day i have seen one farm in bilwada rajasthan same day in and out accounting is completed regarding costing why we are talking this costing is related to your working capital if you don't calculate what is my feeding cost of for per liter 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज नाइनटीन रुपीज सिक्सटी फाइव पैसा पर लीटर फीडिंग कॉस्ट इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन वेन सीजन आर चेंजिंग द ग्रीन वाटर कॉस्ट इज चेंजिंग एंड यू आर सेव यू कैन बी सेविंग फिफ्टीन पैसा पर लीटर सो दैट लेवल ऑफ माइक्रो कैलकुलेशन यू शुड इंटरेक्ट विथ योर कंसल्टेंट देन ऑडिटिंग एवरी मंथ थैंक्स टू इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी यू हैव टेलीग्राम बिकॉज टेलीग्राम हैज गुड कैपेसिटी टू सेंड दी वीडियोज सो ऑडिटर द फीस ऑफ द ऑडिटर हैज टू बी टेकन वाइल बजेटिंग देन प्रोडक्टिविटी देर आर फोर्टी ब्रीड्स इन इंडिया फोर्टी फाइव सो ईच ब्रीड हैज डिफरेंट मिल्क प्रोडक्शन स्ट्रेंथ सो प्रोडक्टिविटी देन प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी If you go on increasing the volume, your product profitability will increase. Productivity, production, processing, marketing. So production is the thing is that your staff or you should have good passion. Otherwise, this uh, this is a live animal industry, and if we show some negligence, then uh, we have to face the problems. Processing. milk and milk products uh, is a processing industry but when the cow is not in milk you have to think of where is my working capital going on so at least 25 products you should be you should process from cow dung and urine so that your working capital will will be will not be badly affected when the milk is not available right marketing already we have shown you you should be very strong in marketing you should have budget for marketing and youtube facebook Uh, twitter then nowadays this young generation are running behind the instagram you should have budget for working capital now how your working capital is affected first is hoof trimming i will show you one ha huh, this is hoof trimming you should have budget for hoof trimming in working capital if you don't keep budget then you will be losing 50 liters of milk per year so working capital has a budget of at least 500 rupees for hoof cutting uh, hoof trimming and this hoof trimming will give you uh, five times more money by investing 500 rupees in working capital you are earning 2500 rupees in one year so hoof trimming budget in working capital now second is proper deworming ayurvedic and homeopathic deworming will help you to earn more money but it should be in your budget don't wait for any subsidy or any gift or any sample this uh, sample giving in uh, dairy dairy farming or goshala has created lot of problems because if we want something free then we have to pay the price for it vaccination vaccination should be properly done properly season you should bring your own syringe own needle and you if you spend 500 to 1000 rupees you will earn 2500 rupees but it should be in your budget that yes i have to bring my own needle i have to bring my syringe i have to bring my own vaccine i will not wait for any subsidy or uh, any scheme on any sample then Uh, environment you have mobile in your app it may be apple or it may be uh, android anything but the temperature in delhi now yesterday night we were calculating it is from 11 degree to 9 degree in in the night so this proper environment if you take in budget that temperature and humidity meter hardly it's a matter of 500 rupees but if once you install in your farm then you will be calculating productivity and profitability of your farm you will be increasing at least 100 liters of milk for your cows for your buffaloes per cow per year per animal per year so the i am not what i am talking to you it is not a expenditure it is investment but it should be taken into uh, either capex or in working capital now mastitis 7000 crores of rupees we are spending means farmer is spending every year in india on this mastitis so i am showing you two instrument uh, equipments shortly hardly 1000 rupees but it will give you 5000 rupees of milk so 1000 rupees 
for mastitis prevention and testing, it should be in your budget. Which budget? Working capital, recurring budget. Now nutrition. We have converted cow or buffalo into a machinery. Input, processing, output. So if you maintain properly energy to protein ratio, then your expenses on nutrition will be covered and you will, you will be increasing at least 200 liters of milk. So 14,000 of rupees, you, you, can, you will be getting more as compared to others. Right. So working capital should be considering all this investment. Now I will not say expenses. This is your investment. Uh, yesterday, today morning, I received a call in Pune that I want your the tape for five minutes. A farm owner having 80 cows and 10, 80 buffalo and 10 cows, he was asking for, for borrowing, borrowing the tape. If you don't have the tape, how you calculate your uh, farming, economics of your farming? So hardly a matter of 300 rupees. You should have the tape on your farm. You should monitor the weight of your cow and uh, buffaloes and the heifers. So take in your working capital, there should be tape. Yes, we have already gone through this. Yes, uh, mastitis is uh, uh, this disease. Hardly three times, uh, uh, five minutes for every three weeks. This is the mastitis check reagent, which I am showing to you. And hardly five minutes are required. If you don't want to spend 3000 rupees on disease, you can sp spend 300 rupees in your working capital for mastitis testing. Secondly, this uh, deep cup solute is iodine solution for disinfection and uh, sanitization of the teats. So, if you don't want to lose 200 liters of milk per lactation, then you have to purchase this, add this 50 ml. Now, I, I don't want to talk more than that. But these are these things, these equipments, hardly 1000 rupees per cow per year. It should be in your budget. Otherwise, your financial health of the project goes on disturbing. Ha. Huh. The most neglected topic in India is water. Conserve this, uh, this fungal water. This You are looking this green colored algae in this uh, water. And the owner says that uh, um, I am losing a lot of working capital. So if you good, give good quality. I am not asking for uh, RO quality water or mineral water for the cows or the buffaloes. But if you, if you want to increase one liter milk per day. I have done this in uh, CSR. Corporate Social Responsibility Projects, three years ago. So keep a budget of alum. You know alum, A-L-U-M, alum. This alum will increase one liter of milk per day. So in your working capital, 50 rupees is the budget required every month for per cow for this water taking drug, T-R-O-U-G-H, water drinking. You can call it as a pond or... or tank or something but hardly 50 rupees it will give you 1500 rupees per month 30 times more no bank or no mutual fund will give you so much of money if you take proper care in dairy farming with techno commercial management and lab reports you should ha have a uh, facility for budget for uh, water testing soil testing in your budget this will give you many times returns many times as i have already done it then i claim it Yes, the most uh, crucial factor is cattle feed because you have to, farmers has to purchase it from the market. So if you are going in uh, cold press oil, hot press oil, then uh, this uh, selling of this lakhdi uh, means uh, wooden ghana oil for the consumers and you are preparing the own pellet or you are preparing this, uh, you are uh, purchasing this. So you should have a... Uh, working capex capex for purchasing of this ghana oil so that you save lakhs of rupees i am claiming lakhs of rupees on this cattle feed so think wise what are the demand of your uh, means, uh, milk consumers they will ask for cold press oil like a groundnut oil so you can give to the cow owners this uh, 
meal consumers and you can save your expenses working capital you can be saved on this cattle feed energy to protein ratio uh, while we are taking uh, our food there are three roti the three chapati or something and one part is dal so if you uh, if you have proper proper calculation of energy to protein ratio about your uh, animals it comes in capex also it comes in working capital also uh, if it is 3 as to 1 then your expenses, your working capital will be required less on the cattle feed. So this is a um, chapter of, means this is a topic of discussion for one to two hours. I have just finished in one minute due to time problem, right? So energy to protein ratio is very, very, very important chapter in capital expenditure because you are, um, you are cultivating the land for um, fodder. Also, if you don't control this, then your working capital will be disturbed and it will affect your uh, profitability. In uh, my 32 years of life, I have seen this, uh, my right hand, there is one uh, chaff cutter. It is uh, showing you uneven, uneven uh, chaff, chaff to fodder. So in capital expenditure, if you go on saving the money for chaff cutter, which is improper, then you have to face many problems like mill quality, less productivity, less profitability and uh, maintenance problems and uh, thumb cutting and hand cutting and everything. I have seen this from 32 years. So in capex, you keep this uh, left side chaff cutter. This left side chaff cutter will have no maintenance no hand cutting, no thumb cutting. It will give proper size. It will have a high speed. And most important, you will save manpower and man hours. You will be saving huge manpower because nowadays getting labor in dairy industry is a very uh, crucial factor. Means it is very difficult to get this, sorry. Very difficult to get labor for dairy industry. So you have to utilize them properly with your own calculations of manpower and man hours. For that purpose, go in capex and purchase good quality chaff cutter. It should be, this is what I am showing you left side green color. It is export quality. Though it might be uh, means a little troublesome in uh, starting. Uh, in Pune, my, one of my cow owner, he is from Rajasthan. He says that sasta roe bar bar, mahenga roe ek hi bar. So go on saving your manpower, man hours by proper selection of chop cutter, right? Huh. When the cow is not in milking, but it is consuming your 100 rupees per day, that is working capital, then you should have 25 products like uh, phenyl and hair oil and hand wash and lamp and soap and dhoop and vermicompost and shampoo and vanpati and... Uh, this uh, what you call tooth powder and face pack and uh, 25 products are more than 25 products. So your working capital should be balanced by this income. For that purpose, you should have uh, uh, training requirement, uh, proper training to your staff or to your, yourself. It is hardly a matter of three to 5,000 rupees coming to Pune and coming to Aurangabad, Sambhaji Nagar in Maharashtra. So take care of your, your uh, working capital while particularly when the cow is not in milk, right? Uh, <clears throat> when, uh, I, I don't know Ramayana and Mahavarta, but during the war of uh, uh, Rana Pratap or Chhatrapati Shivaji, Maharana Pratap or Chhatrapati Shivaji, the uh, elephants and then this... Uh, uh, horses, they were uh, cured by the sepoy in, in the, within night. So Ayurveda, you should have Ayurveda in your capex plus working capital, Ashwagandha, Shatavari, Giloy, Bale, then uh, Aloe Vera and Turmeric. This is the basic requirement if you uh, want to, if you want good milk productivity. And there are 80 plants in Ayurveda which can cure your 13 diseases 
of the animals. So Pashu Ayurveda kit. Kit means I am not talking to purchase from companies. I am uh, stimulating you to, if you have own land, then at least cultivate bell, B-E-L, bell, what, bilwam, what you, so in South India you call it as bilwam. So that bell fruits which are offered to Lord Shiva, this is the prime, prime, prime requirement and it should be on, in your capex to cultivate the bell so that your working capital will be reduced, working capital will be in control. Nowadays, during Corona, People, uh, many farmers have consumed giloy. That is, uh, uh, I think, uh, Amrutwali it is called as. This giloy, it, it is the uh, best immuno booster in case of uh, immunity is concerned. For milk production, you need shatavari. For any wound, you need uh, uh, turmeric. For any wound, for any case, painkiller, you need aloe vera. So such type of cultivation, if you keep in mind in um, capex, then you will face less problems in uh, working capital. The last and the best. 41 diseases can be cured by the cow owner by his own without calling to Dr. Yogi. Again, I repeat. Yearly, a cow owner spends 3,000 to 5,000 rupees on the treatment. But... If you prepare your own homeopathic kit, then you or any farmer can treat 41 diseases by his own without referring to Google, Facebook, WhatsApp, Pinterest, anything. But the thing is that the skill of your labor Either own uh, development of own skill or development of a of the skill of the labor manager supervisor it has to be increased. I will give you one short example. Uh, near Tirupati there is Madanpalli one Goshala that uh, I am handling from 2018 by online. They used to spend 2000 rupees per disease per disease every time whenever the medicines or treatment has to be done, they have to keep 2000 rupees in budget. Now, I have reduced that budget from 2000 rupees, means near about 5000 rupees per year to 400 rupees, maximum 400 rupees per cow per year. So, 80% cost on animal treatment has been reduced at Madanpalli near Tirupati from 2018. So, if you want, if you don't want to disturb your working capital, then focus on capital expenditure, what is required to the cow, how you can prevent recurring losses, how you, you can increase your uh, milk, uh, milk from the cow, how you can increase your working capital with the help of uh, cow dung and urine products, how your uh, social media marketing is aggressive and I think uh, it is more than time given to me because we should stick up to time. So in conclusion, Capex, purchasing of animals, it should be wise with help of some experienced person. And shed construction, it should be portable, then ventilation proper, water facility available, portable mangers. Now regarding recurring capital, uh, sorry, um, this uh, best quality chop cutter is, comes in uh, this uh, Capex. Now when we talk, in, uh, talk about uh, working capital, you should have a uh, insurance for your labors. You should calculate your own salary. Then feed, feeding changes. Lot of uh, commodity market is there. You should have good knowledge of the market. When to purchase, where, what, when, and how to save the money in working capital. I have given you my example of Madhya Pradesh and Delhi. The most important is performance of your labors. Then because salaries, salary is the most important part when the labors are working. Then Pashu Ayurveda, save yourself from spending money. Pashu Homeopathy, send your, spend your, uh, avoid uh, uh, wastage of working capital. So I think uh, 40 minutes were given to me. And uh, if, uh, is there any problem?
I will, it is welcome. Is, is there any question? It is welcome. Thank you, Dr. Yogi, for a very detailed presentation. I will take on some questions. Just one second. Okay, so the first question is, yeah, what are the key factors influencing capital expenditures in establishing or expanding a dairy farm operations? Yes, first important is that it is a bank loan or a scheme or a subsidy or investment and how would be mobilization of the funds. Fund allocation is most important. If you are having your own funding, then still then you have to calculate in a bankable project manner. Project report when you give, to, when you submit something to bank, everything, everything, even cash flow is counted in that. Even investment to output ratio is calculated in that. In the same manner, all the factors which are included in bank project report, you should calculate on your paper. You may take the bank loan or not, doesn't matter, but it should be calculated. Okay. Next question How can farmers effectively plan and how can farmers effectively plan and budget? for capital expenditure to ensure sustainable growth in the dairy sector? Yes. The uh, budget should be first prepared. Budget should be uh, classified as per the requirements. Second thing is, what are the things required in CapEx? Because I have already described that uh, gambling is in purchasing of animals and shed construction. These are the two, two main th things which should be taken into consideration while thinking or planning for the budget or the capex. But when it comes to working capital, all type of test, cattle feed cost, raw material cost, then uh, labor, uh, attrition rate of labor, accidents of labor, accidents of the cows, diseases of the cow, testing of blood, stool, urine, all it should be taken into consideration for the planning of the working capital. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very rigid uh, planning is required while preparing the budget. Okay. Just just yeah. going to market and bringing five cows and starting a dairy farm. It was traditionally okay, but nowadays when you are thinking of saving, um, say miss as a business or a ind industry. Then budgeting, costing, accounting, auditing, productivity, profitability, pro production, process, mar processing, marketing, uh, everything should be taken in budget, in planning. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Sarod Singh, you have any, any question you can ask now. Sarod, they are asking you. Hello, Mr. Sarod, Sarod Singh. Singh. Are you able to hear us? No. He has raised his hand. Saroj. No, he is not showing any sign of listening. Okay, any other question? Yeah, yeah one second. There are a few more are there. Hmm. Yeah. And... Are there specific technologies or equipment investments that significantly impact capex in dairy farming? Yes, very good question. First is chaff cutter. Proper selection of chaff cutter is very essential to save your manpower and man hours. Secondly, in such a huge country of uh, 120 crores, still there are problems in getting labors. So, uh, proper milking machine is it should be considered in the budget while preparing a dairy farm. 
thirdly in uh, big dairy farms there are no availability of cow dung buffalo dung remover machines because we think that yes this is a country of 120 crores but when getting labors in dairy industry uh, we feel hot in winter season that is the problem so milking machine is required if possible in budget cow dung remover machine is required these are the three or four things which are crucially taken into consideration as equipments for lifetime okay what financial considerations should dairy farmers keep in mind when planning for long term investments in infrastructure first is own land or leased land if you are going for leased land because uh, in bangalore bombay pune delhi ahmedabad the near about uh, no land is available for, uh, within 50 km radius so if you are going for a leased land for dairy farming then the lease papers should be shown to your advocate because while starting a dairy farm in assam in 2017 i faced this problem so lease land sh should be shown to the advocate this is my sincere suggestion then water 150 to 200 liters of water is required for every milking cow is it should be kept in budget because if there is shortage of water you will not get milk so at least a 3 days water supply tank it should be constructed or it should be portable but water should be available on your farm 24 by 7 and it should be lab tested it should be portable safe for drinking if you have a industrial area uh, and if your water source is nearby industrial area then it it might be containing heavy metals uh, today ngt means national green tribunal has given order to 25 states that uh, drinking water has more than uh, more than limits about the arsenic and fluoride so water quantity and quality both should be ascertained then road road is very essential if you are going in milk business dairy business approach of road is to be considered considered while starting a dairy farm then about the electricity power day by day the solar uh, options have to be tried in uh, what i have seen in rajasthan good con uh, there is good supply of uh, solar projects so whatever possible in your states you take that options or explore the options of whatever the facility available in solar cases in your farm you should take care of or you take in planning okay and how do market fluctuations and external economic factors affect the working capital needs of dairy farming operations uh, please repeat my sound yeah, is once huh. how do market fluctuations and external economic factors affect the working capital needs of dairy farming operations yes in case of hf and jersey cows in maharashtra i am telling you the flush season and lean season rates go by uh, changing so this market fluctuation affect the uh, income of the farmers at that time there should be secondary sources of income milk products should be prepared by the cow owners second option i have given you in case of indigenous breeds gheer and tharparkar and sahiwal and kankrej and indian breeds like um, devni and lal kandhari red kandhari so when the rates are down you should prepare your own milk products and sell to the market thirdly the factor which we already discussed is that 25 to 30 products like phenyl and sanitizer and everything i have already shown the picture this should be prepared by the owners to safeguard himself from from the market fluctuations because when the selling rate is not in your in your hands then 
you should try to reduce your expenses or overheads. Uh, suddenly, there might be uh, climatic changes and uh, it causes uh, changes in the green fodder and dry fodder cost. So proper storage. So the proper storage of at least a dry fodder. And in case of green fodder, you should prepare your silage. So proper storage of silage and dry fodder will uh, reduce the environmental fluctuations on your pocket. Regarding this is a cow, this is not a machine that 24 by 7 by 365, it will, it will give milk. So there are other chances of income, that is school, uh, school trips, ecotourism, spa center, then uh, corporate meetings, uh, weekend meetings, weekend trainings, such type of environmental, uh, environmental or financial recession or layoff or technical problems. Uh, technological problems you have to face you have at least you should trust one person at least uh, for one year who can guide you with business ideas for example in uh, in corona one that is i think it is two, it was 2019 so in 2019 i got a phone call from pondicherry sir uh, uh, sir is there any any income to survive the cattle. So I said, what you are doing? He was a uh, music uh, music master, music trainer. Suddenly he told me he was preparing Bhasma. Bhasma in South India, there is the white bands on the hand and forehead. They are using the Bhasma. So using of Bhasma in South India is a good business. But we have to... You, we, we should analyze the behavior of the consumer or the customer, what he needs. What It should not be like that I have prepared the milk, you purchase it or not. Market is driven by customer. Customer is the king. And that analyzing the customer is very, very, very important factor while uh, you are maintaining your dairy farm. It is not like that 150 years ago, 50 years ago, we were running in a traditional business like of uh, maintaining the cow. Now, uh, even this uh, Western countries, uh, they are bringing the yogurt in Indian market. So they can bring from foreign, France or Netherlands or Denmark. Or, why we can't prepare in India? Because a, for a couple, a young couple going in the mall, if it wants a cheese or uh, yogurt, we should be able to, able to supply it or prepare it, supply it and market it. So business ideas, it, it is not a one fine morning rocket science. Uh, be global, but be local and be vocal for your business ideas. Right. Yeah, one second. Okay. Are there strategies to manage working capital efficiently? especially during periods of economic uncertainty? Economic uncertainty, uncertainty. it is an industry. Milk, dairy, dairy farming is also an industry and it is affected by external factors like uh, um, green fodder, dry fodder, cattle feed, uh, oil cakes and everything, right? So, saving, saving is also earning. For example, the... Uh, it is not today's topic, but you have to save your money on repeat bidding and mastitis and fix problem. The uh, India has lost 1.15 lakhs of uh, cows in uh, this uh, lumpy skin disease, right? It was a matter of hardly 4,000 rupees on one farm. You could have saved 1.15 lakhs of rupees on this uh, death of this Indian animals. What I am trying to stress you is that industry is changing, business is changing. We have to cope up with that industry with what are the possibilities either in saving or in earning. You can save your animals. 1.15 lakhs of animals could be saved by only using a flame gun. What was the cost of flame gun? Hardly 4,000 rupees. So saving is also earning. Uh, prevent uh, your animals from uh, disease and death 
and already i have spoken to you recession layoff it sector the paying capacity of the consumer all are changing day by day as a uh, industry owner we have to think what are the possibilities of saving and earning saving is also earning and what are other chances of in increasing the income okay okay and what role do government policies play in influencing capital expenditure and working capital requirements for dairy farmers mm, very difficult to answer because government gives stress on subsidies and very few cases of subsidies have become a role model for industry so i have my reservation or guarded statement regarding government's role Okay. There are means uh, not to depend on any external agency. It's uh, it's a good uh, answer, but in some cases, in some states, they are giving subsidy. Uh, for example, in Madhya Pradesh, uh, they are giving subsidy for the bull purchase in Indian breeds. So it is a good activity, Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Hmm. But And subsidy, uh, government support or subsidy will not uh, help for longer duration. Okay. can you provide examples of successful cost saving measures or financial management practices adopted by dairy entrepreneurs cost saving measures for i repeat can you provide examples of successful cost saving measures or financial management practices adopted by dairy entrepreneurs yes uh energy to protein ratio was adopted at madurai and then he uh, he uh, this owner ajay raja he frequently comes to bangalore also he has adopted this uh, banana leaf banana leaf uh, for feeding of the cows and he has saved 5000 rupees per month on his 40 cattle secondly one of my customer from jodhpur in rajasthan he was facing issue of uh, Mil sour milk. So I have told him uh, muleti, and he saved uh, losing his customers. Then shared construction already has shown you. People are spending five lakhs and ten lakhs and twenty lakhs on the shared construction. A simple Madurai model can save lakhs of rupees on shared construction. So every. Um, every factor i mean capex or working capital or both you should have a proper advisor who can give you who can monitor your project at least for one or two years we are handling farms from 3 years to 8 years my my oldest is 8 years farm okay this is a live livestock industry live animals and it is not engineering Uh, rainy season winter season uh, summer season management changes and it should be that information should be available to your consultant okay are there financial instruments or support programs available to assist dairy farmers in managing capital expenditure and working capital see the subsidy is a it is available in some states it's it's not available in some states so as far as government support is concerned subsidy is the projects funded with subsidies is the only answer for that but nowadays this uh, goshalas or um, some few people are coming as investors particularly from software industry and instead of one person investing the whole uh, investment some uh, three people five people 11 people they come uh, they are coming as a joint liability group giving their assets to the bank taking the um, investment and starting the dairy farms so joint liability group is the best answer for uh, starting a dairy industry which will take care of not going to bank not paying uh, premium to bank and giving your assets and you are mobilizing your manpower and man hours instead of depending on government or any subsidy better be have a um, ethically financially fair transparent business 
Okay. One second. Um, yeah, in what ways techno can technology and data analytics be utilized to optimize working capital and capital expenditure on dairy farming? Yes, capital expenditure is very important because uh, if you install temperature and humidity and you, if you get that uh, SMS on your mobile, that is your cow owner's mobile, then uh, it will save reduction in losses. Today, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence. Uh, in future, it might be Chat GPT. Some thousands of questions will be in the chatbot, and he can the cow owner can open the chatbot. He can uh, put his question, and he will get the answer. So, best use of information technology is required for starting the farm. Uh, planning the capital expenditure, uh, mobilization okay. of funds during working capital, and uh, running your farm in profit. Okay. Hmm. Now we have the last question. In what, sorry, how does seasonality in milk production and impact, uh, in, sorry, how does seasonality in, in milk production impact the working capital needs of dairy businesses and how can farmers prepare for these fluctuations? Yes, correct. Uh, yesterday we talked with our Madhya Pradesh customer. So uh, today it is a uh, 19 degree centigrade in Pune, right? So when the environmental temperature goes below 27 degree in case of Indian breeds and 20 degree below in HF and Jersey breeds. So when the temperature goes below, then it will affect the volume, also the fat SNF in the fat and SNF in the milk or in case of ghee production. In any case, you should control the temperature minimum and maximum temperature in your farm. For that purpose, the hardware industry, they are having dry bulb thermometers. It should be fitted in the farm. You should note the temperature variation and make changes in your management. For example, uh, the our Madhya Pradesh customer has yesterday, uh, before four days, uh, due to winter, extreme winter, he has uh, Mm, applied these uh, gunny bags, jute bags. And uh, surprisingly, in 10, lit 10 cows, he got increase of uh, 1.5 liters of milk. So, gunny bags are easily available with the farmers. They are literally in the scrap. It is to be tied in the cold breeze direction and uh, you have to increase the milk or reduce the decreasing in, in the milk. Seasonal variations will be there. You have to take care of extreme winter, extreme uh, summer. Protection from that summer and winter or rainy season. That is the operational management of the cow owner, buffalo owner. Okay. Uh, Mr. Saroj has left one question uh -huh. in the chat box. How to minimize the feed cost and any possibility to reduce cost based on second? Yeah. How on to minimize land. the feed yeah, on, on lease land, correct? Minimize the feed cost. First is what is the requirement of the animal? Optimum requirement. What I have told you is the energy to protein ratio. So you should have your own cultivation of protein fodder. In India, Maize or sugarcane or uh, jawar is very common. These are energy sources. But what about protein? If you are not giving protein, protein fodder, then you are losing your uh, pocket. So maintenance means uh, management of energy to protein ratio in from green fodder. It is the best cost saving method as far as the production is concerned. And cost based, reduce cost, cost based on lease land. The one-year plan, three-year plan, five-year plan of order, 
uh, water availability on leased land, it should be taken into consideration. While uh, even the herd size, how many animals will be there in one year, two year, three year, as on that basis, for example, uh, just a ratio, one acre is sufficient for seven cows. But if you have proper water management, then you can even maintain 10 cows. So you are increasing your efficiency on own land or lease land by 30%. So nutrition is a first chapter and you need a um, one year guidance for that. It is not a matter of one or two minutes. But optimization means how to minimize, I will say how to optimize the feed cost. Proper supply of green, green fodder, dry fodder and lab tested um, oil cakes or cattle feed is the best answer for this. Uh, from last three days, we are struggling with uh, uh, our Delhi customer. He was giving 20% protein and no dry fodder and no uh, protein fodder. So we told them that you increase the protein in the feed and you will get increase in the milk. So nutrition is the topic. It is to be handled at least for one hour, one year regarding uh, optimization of the cost is concerned. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. I don't see any more questions from our participants. So now we have come to end of question round. Mm. On behalf of agricultureinformation.com, we'd like to thank you for a very detailed presentation and answering all the questions in depth, which will be very useful to our participants. And we also like to thank all the participants for joining this meeting. The meeting will now be closed. Thank you. Thank you. You're most welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you.